Welcome to Asuncion, Paraguay. So today I will show you around the capital city of Paraguay, Asuncion. A lot of people say there is not much to do, but let's find out if this is actually true. In my last video I was raging about how unfriendly the people were in Paraguay and how no one tried to help me at the central bus station. Super super unfriendly to be honest. But I decided to give the city another chance and to make a video that is a bit more positive. So I apologize for all the negativity and let's find out what beautiful things Asuncion has to offer. I then walked over 5 kilometers to the center of Asuncion, past some local clothes shops, some bigger buildings and it all started to look a lot nicer. One of my most important travel rules is always never judge a country by its central bus station. To be honest, my mood is a lot better now, now that I've checked into the hotel. I brushed my teeth, I got a bit fresher. So I will now try to show you around Asuncion having a positive mindset and forgetting all the stuff like that no one helped me earlier. Positive thinking, guys. <laughs> One of the main sights here in Asuncion is this giant cathedral that you can see behind me. But you can see how empty it is. Like this is one of the main sights here in the city. It's completely empty. I mean inside there's something going on. It's really pretty, it's really pretty. Then I sat down in this hipster cafe in the center of town. So I finally got some vegan food here in this awesome cafe, Cafe Consolado. Got a vegan latte and my muffin is already gone. <laughs> now I feel full, now I feel a lot happier. I haven't showered in like three, four days or something. And I start to stink, I start to stink, even I start to stink sometimes. So behind me you can see the Palacio de Lopez, um, which is this huge palace here in Paraguay, in Asuncion. It's also one of the main sites here in Asuncion, but it's a bit under construction at the moment. There's still a way, you could go closer to the palace, but I was told that I can't, so I'm gonna respect this. Behind me you can see the National Pantheon of Heroes. It's for all the people that I guess fought for Paraguay. There's not much to do, you can't go inside I don't think. And sadly, in Asuncion, you do see a lot of homeless people on the streets, especially kids. To me, so far, Asuncion makes quite a noisy impression. Oh, it's so noisy here with all the buses. Ah! Okay, I'm now in the center of Asuncion, according to Google Maps. But honestly, there's not much more other than, well, flats and like business buildings and small shops and like supermarkets and stuff. So in Paraguay, you even have a like seafront. It's not a sea, it's actually just a river. I think here it could be done so, so, so nicely, but there's just nothing here. Do you see what I mean? There's just like some grass and here's the way and the road and that's it. I think it could be made so beautiful with like nice restaurants by the beach or something. I think this place has so much potential. It has amazing weather. I mean, you have the river. Even in Baghdad, Iraq, you have like nice restaurants and stuff by the Tigris River. And this place here is honestly so much more beautiful than the river in Iraq. But there's just not much to do here. If you go further down the river there is Argentina, but this is still Paraguay. There you see the skyline of Asuncion. I don't know if you can swim in this river. Looks nice though. I would swim there if it would be a bit more like nicely done, I guess. So yeah, foreign investors or whatever, just come to Paraguay and make something nice here. There's so much potential for this country. It's honestly pretty safe. The lorry driver from yesterday actually told me that, especially in the rural regions where we drove yesterday, he said that the roads were a complete disaster. But after and during the pandemic, they really like improved their infrastructure and now it has proper roads and everything, which is amazing. It's just, there is not much to do here. <laughs> Come on guys, do something. Do something with your country. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay guys, I'm now gonna make my own terere, which is the <laughs> national drink of Paraguay. Everyone drinks it in this little cup with a metal straw. I see everyone in the street doing it. Literally everyone. The people of Paraguay, this is like what they're proud of. And you also see the, these cans here. Yeah, so this is where you put in the cold water, but also a lot of people drink it hot. 
So normally you put in um, ice apparently, so ice cold water, and then it keeps it cool throughout the day. To make your own terere, you put in the yerba powder into the cup, you fill up the can with ice cold water and chop in the lime, and then you pour the water into the cup. Se deja reposar uno, minu un minuto, dos minutos. Okay, vale. La hierba expande. Mm. A little bit. And then you have it, your Paraguayan terere. Okay guys, so we just made the terere. And you drink it through the straw, it's my first time not ever trying it. Oh wow, it's like really strong tea kind of thing. <laughs> I find it almost kind of difficult to get water out of there because the, the thing is so thick. Like it's almost like... Like you could eat it. <laughs> it takes a bit of practice to drink terere properly, but it's worth it. And I definitely got the hang after a while, so I was drinking quite some terere in Paraguay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Honestly, guys, it's so extremely hot here. I don't know how many degrees Celsius it has, but it feels like 38 maybe. As someone from me coming from rainy England, the weather is amazing, not gonna lie. So far, Paraguay, not my favorite country in South America. But of course you have some nice places. The thing is, it's not that Paraguay is like unsafe or like not nice or super underdeveloped or whatever. No, not really. It's just not really so interesting to be honest. Do you get what I mean? Like even in the center you just have streets and streets and then you have some flats and some, some banks and whatever. There's just not much to do. Like the main attraction is this like main park kind of thing. It's just there's not so much to do here <laughs> to be honest. Thank you so much for watching my Paraguay video. So even though I saw some really nice places in Paraguay, the rumors are true. There is not so much to do in this country. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.